Uh, well, in uh, 2002, uh, John and I were on a climb uh, on Mount Rainier, and we were joined by a third party who happened to be a uh, employee. He was, a, he was currently, uh, at the time, he was an employee of the CIA. And on the trail, we were uh, we spent a lot of time talking shop and throwing ideas out. And we had John and I had this idea about. Um, whether or not people's reading behaviors would change as a consequence of trying to uh, conceal a deception. And um, the uh, fellow who was climbing with us uh, thought it was um, a good idea, uh, interesting idea, and subsequent to that, when we got back to Salt Lake, we put together uh, a study uh, with a grad student and in collaboration with uh, Ann Cook and Dan Waltz. Um, and lo and behold, the, uh, our thesis was borne out that uh, people's behaviors, in fact, do change. Reading behaviors do change when they're uh, trying to conceal a deception. Uh, when I came in, I was a cognitive psychologist and I studied reading. Uh, and when John and Doug uh, came back from their climbing trip, they approached me and Dan about getting involved in this. It was totally different than anything I've ever done before, but um, it was interesting and it was fun. Uh, and so we designed a study and it actually worked. And then we did more research and it worked again. Um, and so I think our understanding of what's going on has progressed quite a bit. And our understanding of the kinds of measures that we should be using has progressed quite a bit. Um, it's also just a, a fun group to work with. And so um, it's, it's nice to be able to work with your colleagues and on something so interesting.